Hello, Randy Rain here, and I've done so many videos on Tomy mechanical games, but I've never done the digital diamond. And the reason is not that complicated. There's no motor in here. The only thing the electronics does is light up a little LED, but it's pretty neat, so I feel like I should do it. So let's get started. Now, this wouldn't work the last time I played with it. Switch. Doesn't want to work very well. If I get it about halfway, you can see the LED lights up. You can back. That was a ball. So yeah, this is a two-player game. You can't play it by yourself. And what you do is you push this. It's all spring-loaded. You can even see the spring right down in here. And it pushes the LED, which is supposed to be, you know, the baseball. And you have a button here, which is the baseball. You push this, and it's going to go down. And you have a switch back here that is ball and strike. And strike will make it go straight, ball will make it curve, and go over to here. And if you do a strike, and they hit it right by hitting this button, then you hit the ball. And of course you can't hit a ball with it, you know, the actual ball over to here. None. So, let's see if I can do it. Bats right here. Nope. Well, I can't seem to get a strike. I mean, I can't seem to get a hit. But when you do, it makes a line showing of the ball being hit out to here. But anyway, this thing is spinning here when you click it and then you're supposed to push a this which is the glove and it tells you what happens so that's a three base hit is that stopped here so if you'd have done it that would that would have been three bases so you would have moved your guys and you're just literally sliding these things up and sometimes it says out you know different Different outcomes come on this thing. But let's open it up and see what we can do. I even have some white LEDs, which they didn't exist back then. So maybe I'll make it white. So you can see it's actually kind of clever. This gets pushed back. It's pitched. Right. So you can see right there. Okay, if I push. As this thing is being held down, if it gets pushed now, this thing holds it down. And so this should be connected, but I don't think it is. So when this goes, connects to here, there it goes. Oh, that's just a light bulb in this one. If I reset it like this, it gets pitched comes down, if it comes past, it comes back up, and I hit, now it doesn't keep this thing down, right here. If I redo it again, so if I start early, let's say the ball just started, 
question when it comes to hair. Ah, it does, does push it up, but we still haven't connected here yet. And so it's going to allow it to go back down. So, yeah. So the only way to keep it connected is when it's down like that. This is when it gets, has to be pushed. And that keeps it down even after it's here. Uh, but that would be a ball. Okay, so let's look at the the ball part of it. So over here, you're switching tracks. So that is strike, and that would be ball. So as it comes around right here, this thing moves, and this little thing's pushing it to over to here, and so it never allows it to be pushed to make contact. But if it's like that, this is here, so as it comes down, and now it can make contact. And if you've hit it correctly, all these should light up. Yep, that's a little light bulb. Yep, there's the light for that. Go ahead and take this off. Mm -hmm. The old sliding out. Let's see. And here's what I wanted to see. Okay, I just realized there's something in here that's quite disgusting. what that is. But we got some gears. Little tin tooth gears, but they seem to be working. So look here. Oop, we got a crack going here. Out of all of my crown gears, I never have the right one. I don't think they make the ones that they used to make. That's where my little heat pan here comes in handy. We'll just melt it right back. Stop the crack. Then there's other gears here. A little springy action there. There we go. Oh, what is this disgusting stuff everywhere? spring right there. Lift this up. Pull that out. And that will come out. This off. Alright, 
hopefully I can remember how this goes and have all the parts considering I have a new little kitty. I covered everything up with a towel to keep her from knocking stuff off as I walked away and she just laid down on it. So hopefully I know that goes like that. Okay, so this thing goes. This spring has to go into this. That goes there. That's how it goes. And the spring it goes to there. one went there. You spin it this way and that little gear engages. Spin it the other way, it disengages. Hooks to here. And then this one. Like that. However, there is a little spring here. It goes here. There. The spring goes there. Like that. I believe that's everything in there. This was supposed to be on the other side. Oh, there, yep. Yep, that is correct. It has to go in like that. You can see the oxidation on it. Put it here too where it touches. I bet that thing makes connection now. Okay, now I believe this can go in. I noticed that there's a 50 50 chance on this, so there's just as many outs as there is hits on this thing. There's only one home run couple of hits and only one three base hit and one two base hit. And then the light bulb. The little track.
here. Oh, I guess I'll take this off one more time. Because this has to this goes in that this now this can go on this little thing here is what stops the scores in the right spot they fit here so do, do, do. I believe that if white LEDs had existed back then, they would have used them. So I am going to put a white LED on here. This was bent over. That was negative. You know, I think this also held wires, if I remember correctly. You can see how these little things work. This is some of my favorite stuff. Pushing a little guy in front. All right, I had it all together and it's working, but I noticed something. The white LED showing through this purpley stuff here kind of looks whitish purplish. But this light bulb right here, when it lights up, you can see, barely see it through there. It's red. So I guess it's the spectrum of light. <laughs> Got some, most of it out of there without just completely destroying it. It's a little LED to stay just like that. Oh, that looks good. I think I'm just going to CA glue that sucker right there. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's what I want. Well, there it is, the digital diamond. Now, I don't normally use puns, but this one requires a pun because this is a swing and a miss. This is not really a fun game in my opinion. I was gonna get my friend George to play, but the first thing we did was to see if you can determine balls and strikes while you're batting. And no, I can't. He couldn't. It's impossible to, once you figure out that it's not a ball, to be able to hit that ball in time. So basically it just boils down to guessing whether it's a ball or a strike. And that's not very fun because you're just constantly wrong. So if you think about just eliminating the balls and just doing strikes and just relying on the game being can you hit the ball well actually it gets pretty easy i can just about hit it every time so it basically comes down to nothing but a roulette that when you push this button you find out what you get and that's not very fun and don't get me started on the scoring with there's not being any innings or anything come on that's baseball but the new little white leds do look very cool and if you like this video, sure would appreciate a big thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, hit the subscribe button. I'd like to thank these people right here. These are patrons. 
these are people helping me out and these are the people bringing you the digital diamond so you can see it and see how it works I thank them also very much because the more I do this the harder it's getting and I couldn't do it without them so I thank them and if you'd like to help out and become a patron as well of course there's links and all that stuff anyway thanks for watching